Hey guys, I'm Sun. I'm a privacy and a security researcher, and you're watching The Privacy Guides. Uh, it's Friday, it's almost happy hour, but I thought I would juice one last episode before going on to the weekend. And uh, yeah, it's a good opportunity for me to talk to you guys about cold boot attacks or uh, what we call evil made attacks. So here's the scenario. Your computer is encrypted using FileVault. If you're on the Linux side of things, it's encrypted using Lux, and that's great. Now, have you ever wondered why your file system can just encrypt stuff like that on the fly and when you put your computer to sleep and wake it up, things are so very fast? Uh, well, the way your computer and the operating system achieves that is through saving your encryption key onto the volatile memory of your computer. And when you put your computer to sleep, that key is still stored on the RAM or volatile memory because your computer keeps your RAM powered. Now, what that means is a sophisticated attacker can steal your computer or you know take it temporarily <clears throat> sorry and copy that encryption key from the memory it's not a very easy attack but it's a very easy one to mitigate and that's the subject of today's episode and the reason why it's called an evil made attack is uh, you're at the hotel <clears throat> you have corporate secrets on your computer you put it in your hotel room and then an evil maid walks in takes your computer and voila so uh, without further ado, let's jump on the Mac and I'll show you guys how to set things up. It's a one liner, so it's quite, quite an easy one to pull off. You wanna pop open your terminal and before you go about running a command that someone like me recommends on the internet, you should always do your due diligence to make sure that you're not running something that could uh, compromise your system, especially when it starts with sudo, which means super user. Uh, and a way of doing that is by using man. So man is essentially the manual command. And if you run man pm set enter, you'll have the manual for pm set. So pm set is a command that manipulates power management settings. Uh, you could do more research on Google and it's actually something that ships with your Mac. Now, if you wanna see what one of these arguments do, uh, does, you can type slash and then copy that little thing here and paste it here and press enter. And as we can see here, uh, that specific argument will destroy file vault key when going to standby mode. By default, file vault keys are retained even when system goes to standby. Now, if you're wondering what this one does, well, again, slash paste enter. Uh, mode 25 is only settable via PM set. The system will store a copy of memory to persistent storage, the disk. In the old days, the reason why your computers would keep your memory powered up was that, uh, was, yeah, I guess that's decent English. The reason was that your computer had a spinning hard drive that wasn't very fast. So copying everything on your RAM, which was very fast, onto the hard drive was excruciatingly slow. Nowadays with SSD hard drives, especially the more powerful NVMe ones, well, I mean, that can be done really, really effic uh, efficiently. And that's what is happening here on a, you know, this is a 2015 MacBook Pro. So what we're doing here is we're telling the computer to destroy the key. We're telling it to use the hibernation mode 25, which will copy everything to your hard drive, which is encrypted. And we're telling it using standby delay low and standby delay high. When we're setting that to zero, we're saying to your computer to go to standby mode right away when you put it to sleep. It's such an easy thing to run. So you copy this to exit the manual, by the way, you press Q, you paste it here, enter. It asks you for your password. As you guys know by now, I have a really shitty password on this computer because it's dedicated to the privacy guides and you guys can see it on the camera. So there's no reason for making it super complicated, but you should use a much, much more elaborate passwords. More on this on the episode on setting up Mac OS for privacy. I'll link it up here or there and put it in the description. Okay, you run that and it's done. You're now way safer. You've protected yourself from evil made attacks. So I hope you found that insightful. Uh, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. And if you're willing to drop a like, that always helps with the YouTube algorithm. So yeah, have a good weekend, guys. Bye-bye.